All right, welcome to the Robert Show. It's day two at Gartner Orlando, and I'm super excited to be with Murli, who's a data security expert, uh, years of experience, I know, uh, and uh, not a new face to the Robert Show. Ganesh is the CEO at Trust Logics, also the co-founder. Ganesh, welcome to the Robert Show. Murli, welcome Thank to the you. Robert Show. Super excited to be chatting with you all today. I know there's a lot of conversations that have happened. Uh, around, you all have been chatting with a lot of customers, uh, Ganesh, specifically you, you've been chatting with enterprise leaders, analysts, you all have been attending sessions. I'm kind of curious to know from you all, what have you all been hearing? But at the same time, also just for our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself, tell us more about yourself. Murli. Sure. Thank you, thank you, Ravit, thank you for having me in the show. Yeah. So, uh, uh, I am a director for the data platforms in my company. And nice. I have like about 20 years of experience in working in multiple uh, uh, roles and um, multiple size companies and so on. So one of the things uh, that I am very curious in the current role is like uh, how the data domains and the data product world is going to change with A coming into picture uh, well, uh, while uh, we are moving toward the self-service agenda. Yep. And uh, with all these things like business will be able to take care of everything with A, but who is going to take care of the security? That mm. is a key Very thing important that point. I am uh, worried about. So, uh, in the keynote also, like uh, they hit on three important points. One is the trust, federated governance, and uh, the security behind that one. Yeah. So we want to give the power to the users to take care of their business through self-service, but at the same time, we need to ensure that the security aspects of uh, AI and the data are managed at the enterprise level. Now it is not up, the, up to the business leader to decide on like how they will handle the security because uh, there are multiple implications on that one. Yeah. So um, uh, uh, seeing that uh, three points resonating in the keynote was a very good thing I felt like. It's like, it's more like the industry, the community, the leaders are kind of understanding what's happening, so that is something pretty cool. Uh, Ganesh, what are you hearing from uh, customers? What are you hearing from leaders out there? Yeah, so, you know, Ravid, thank you so much. You know, it's uh, good to be you know, with you again. And uh, this, uh, we're at the Gardner Data Summit. This is really exciting. We are having so many discussions about the data, which we are really passionate about. Uh, you know, look, you know, the, you know the, the real core of it is the trust and quality, which I would love to talk about that, which we have been, you know, working on with many of our customers. Um, yeah, you know, I'm really excited. Yeah, exactly. No, I think uh, that's something pretty cool uh, what we've heard in, at uh, Keynote. I obviously want to expand on that. Uh, so I talk to a lot of enterprise leaders too, and the big point is we are in that AI world where uh, you know, now data security, data governance, these kind of things play a very important role. What was the reason for you, uh, you know, Murli to, Think about even starting to use trust logics. What was the reason there? Sure, yeah. So as I said, like uh, I play multiple roles and yeah. uh, mostly the ETL role. But when I became the owner for the data platform, uh, then the must my first thought is like uh, I need to uh, now earlier in my old role I was trying to poke holes in the security and keep working. Yeah. Now yeah. I am the owner for it, so I need to be aware of all these things and ensure that uh, um, I am giving a good platform for the company. But at the same time, why I was poking holes earlier? Because I was missing certain things. I want to provision that also to the users so that they can do the self-service mm. while maintaining the enterprise security. Um, so uh, we are a snowflake shop. Uh, we set up uh, everything in our side. Like uh, I had full access, full controls. I was able to build it in a robust manner. But uh, now looking at the next step as a leader, I have done it. But uh, what is the guarantee that uh, I am not going to make any mistakes? Right, that and, is very uh, important. That is important. And uh, what is the guarantee that uh, when I am out, uh, whomever is my backup is not going to screw up the system? Yeah. So what is the what is the right path to have an independent verification, a governance authority, yeah. and a 24 by 7 monitoring? I am going to do only for 7 hours or 8 hours. Who is going to take care of it 24 by 7? True. And uh, how, I am going to do as per my knowledge, but who is going to bring the worldwide global standards into my place. So that is when when I started looking out, um, Trust Logic was uh, thinking in the exact same way. Their roadmap aligned with whatever I was doing and I was planning to do, and they were addressing my worries. So nice. that's where we nice. started our partnership. Yeah, it looks uh, pretty interesting. Uh, Ganesh, good question for you. How do you kind of uh, see organizations uh, 
should be preparing for uh, you know data that is used in AI. How do you see that happening? Yeah, no, you know, uh, as I think you were saying earlier, uh, you know, the the keynote, the talk, a lot of talk yeah. about the 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 two primary things that I would like to fo focus is the the data quality, which really blocks the usage in a trust perspective, and then the data accessibility, right? And, uh, you know, people need to have access to the data, including the sensitive data. Because the systems you're talking about is all about businesses, and the data is all about really the customer data, business data, it has SLS associated with it. So those are the two foundational things that organizations have to look at addressing. Uh, mm. You know, the, the quality is one, but from our perspective, Trustlogic side, we have been working with our com customers like, like Murali and, you know, healthcare and financial companies. You know, how can we enable, right? It's all about the data, you know, empowerment. Uh, by giving them the tools, yep. by giving them the control uh, into where they have, they give the data to the right people much, much faster, but also at the same time control. Yes. You know, and then have visibility, and then also have, you know, uh, reactive, uh, you know, way of like making sure that, yeah. you know, if someone is not using it as appropriately, or if they are sharing the data, they are not supposed to be sharing, you know, Very able to detect that and then also take action on that. Yeah. So having the tool really helps out, and that also unblocks people and also builds a trust between the security and business people. Right. Wherein now security people can come and say that look, we got visibility, we got control. Let our business teams use the data, but we'll help them out when it comes to you know data misuse or when there is a data you know. Uh, risk at the, the data usage perspective. Just staying on this, so I have one quick follow-up question as well for you, yeah. Ganesh. What would be your advice for those data platform owners or you know those uh, enterprise leaders who are now implementing AI as well? Any advice that you feel yeah. is uh, that can help them to you know uh, just be successful in the data environment? Absolutely. You know, we, we see this. You know, a lot of times we run into discussions where people think that it's very complicated. You know, yeah. they can't do this. Um, you know, one thing they could simply start with is the visibility, get visibility into, you know, what's going on with the data. Yeah. Uh, there are tools, there are solutions out there available. You know, they just need to make sure that they have the simple tools that allows them to secure the data and then Very get true. visibility into that. So starting right there will give them a lot more insights into how data is used and, and also having some lineage visibility as well, how data is coming in and Very which important. AI application is using what data and then who is using and who's got access to the data through the AI applications. Yes. So having that visibility really helps them, mm. and then they can iterate on it and then go address any data leakage, any data issues around that. Love it. Uh, Murli, one more quick question for you. As a da uh, pla data platform owner, how do you work with the security side of the business? Uh, any use cases that kind of come out, in, or anything that you would uh, like to share? Sure, so that actually resonates with, uh, uh, I was uh, going to follow up. Uh, uh, yes, exactly. Uh, Ganesh point. So one of the things Gartner uh, called out in the keynote is like a freedom in the box. Hmm. Right? Very so, important. Um, freedom in the box. That is what like we want to empower the users. We want to give them the freedom, but uh, they don't, we don't want them to go out of the box. Right? So this is not. Uh, uh, this is the principle that I am enforcing, and uh, I'm talking to our security teams also, hmm. saying like, okay, you don't want to be the restricting person over here. Instead of that, uh, provide your box. What is your box? So define that one. Let the users use the freedom underneath that, within that boundaries. Yes. And now they get the privilege and they get the basic controls. I mean, enterprise get the basic control that needs to be in place. And uh, security still forms the wall of uh, preventing those boundaries that nothing comes in. With proper tools, proper process, right amount of freedom, gives like uh, more uh, self-service uh, ownership for the users. Love it. And, uh, uh, we are setting up data domains and data products. Uh, the success of that one depends on the freedom, first of all. Mm. And uh, when we talk about the freedom, ownership, and the data quality, all three are like uh, uh, three sides of the triangle. Mm. It cannot, uh, like, each one has to adjust, but it cannot go out of bounds. Yes. So that's the thing uh, uh, we are trying to teach, and it's a cultural change. It's a cultural uh, change. It's a True. cultural change. So uh, security teams does not play the traditional role. Uh, now they have to adopt to the new environment, uh, new model, new operating model. Yeah. Uh, that's another thing that we are trying to uh, bring in. Yeah. There's a lot, lot more to achieve. Yeah. Um, but uh, very, it was very interesting to see like uh, Gartner is presenting that uh, worldwide phenomena across the 
companies in data space. Exactly, love it. Uh, also, one quick question for both of you is, uh, how do you see the space evolving in la next one year? Because things kind of move very quickly in our space, right? Right. But uh, I'm kind of wanting to learn, how do you see that in the next one year? What are the things, how will you know data leaders think about data protection, about data security differently, and uh, to, a, to a road to success, yeah. So, as most of the people were talking about like uh, yay hype cycle is now in the second phase where people are going to try experimenting and most of them are going to fail. So we understand that there is going to be a little bit of failure but we want to use that as a learning so that we can use it for the next step where we can get the right solution. That's what like we don't want to uh, fall on our face but uh, even if we are end up falling we want to fall carefully. Yes. Um, so with whatever we are thinking as the right control mechanism rather than taking any textbook mechanism, what is applicable for us? That is what, uh, what is the right thing for us? Uh, what is our risk tolerance? We are looking from that perspective and taking the next steps over there. Love it. Um, I believe that will be the right way for next one year because a lot of the things cool. are going to change. Very cool. That's Can awesome, Murli. Yeah, you know, the way we see it, Ravit, is, you know, the, what is given is the data is going to be coming from different data, you know, ingestion systems, whether it's on-prem, right. you know, structured, semi-structured, unstructured, right? That's given. You know, it's data is always sitting there in different places, different enterprises, and this data needs to be made available to the AI systems. Mm. And, uh, you know, companies have to be start preparing for, you know, you know, helping Gen AI developers within their companies, right, to use the data. So for that to happen, they need to start with a platform or some, you know, structured way of methodically looking at, you know, classify the information, classify the data, yeah, and then start putting some controls around the data, right, and then making sure that you have some visibility into that, and then also have access controls into, you know, who can access that data based on the user entitlements, and then you know if you have that foundation thing, and then you can now data can come from different places. It can be used from any data you know, consumption platforms, LLM training purposes, you know, analytic systems, analytic tools, you know, yeah. data lakes and data warehouses, right? it can go anywhere. As long as you have the right security, right visibility in place, I think that's where I would suggest that companies start thinking about putting some foundation in place. Very cool and then let them start picking up the data and then experimentation. Very important. Those are fantastic points. Uh, Murli, Ganesh, uh, thanks for sharing that. Uh, one last question, uh, and that is if folks want to reach out to you, learn more about data protection, data security, space in general, where can they do that? LinkedIn, X? Yeah, so you know, for us, you know, uh, they can always go to TrustLogics.io, yes. and then if you are in the floor here on the summit, we got some great demos, AI data security demos, Come and talk to us here. Amazing. And then obviously you can also connect us on the LinkedIn. Amazing. Murli? I am on LinkedIn. I'm happy to connect anytime. Fantastic. Uh, this is such a great conversation. Thanks for sharing all the great insights. Uh, and I'm pretty sure our audience, uh, you know, enjoyed the AI security, data security part. And uh, we'll keep the con uh, conversation going. And uh, thanks once again, both of you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you everyone for joining us today.